So, back at WWDC in 2022, Apple announced iPadOS 16, and with that came external monitor support. Finally, finally Apple was bringing more desktop-like or macOS capability to iPadOS. And as an iPad user for many years and been a big advocate for using iPad to do productivity and creative work, I got really excited because being able to use a monitor like that to be able to complete my task and actually have it take up the whole display was just gonna be life-changing to me. Or at least that's what I hope for with this. But as I got to thinking, while I can do a lot of my creative work like video editing on an external display, I have a nine to five job that I do. I work in sales for a software company and a lot of my work I can actually do on my iPad. So I got to thinking what happens if I take that work and actually put it on a display like that. And what what would that do to my productivity and what does that workday look like? Like, can iPad Pro really replace your work computer? So I got to work with just testing that out and seeing what it would be like. And just an explanation of what I do on a typical day. So uh, we're a big advocate of using the Microsoft suite of apps. So I use Microsoft Teams to be able to run my meetings, to be able to communicate with our team and be able to run meetings for our customers. I use Microsoft Outlook to be able to email back and forth with my clients and the team overall. And then that's how I basically manage my day-to-day -day calendar. And then we usually just use a web browser for our CRM. Our CRM does have an app, but the iPad app is almost just like a stretched out version of the iPhone app, and I'm just not a fan of it. So I just use the web browser version. There's typically a couple of things that I've run into issues with, with uh, Safari on iPad OS for this CRM, but today I didn't have to do any of those functions. So I was able to complete most of my tasks with no problems at all. Um, but as you can see here, I'm pretty much just going into meetings, from meeting to meeting, I'm sending emails to our clients, responding to emails inside of Outlook. And overall, the day went pretty well. I was able to complete all of my tasks that I needed to do that day, hop into the meetings. I used my AirPods Pro to be able to listen to audio and speak while I was in meetings because unfortunately, one of the weirdest things about iPadOS hooked up to an external display is just audio in general. So as you can see here, I'm trying to actually use the HomePod mini that I have behind me to be able to listen to audio on my iPad. And it just would not support. I did not know that AirPlay was just not supported on external display. You basically have to use either some sort of wired uh, option through HDMI for your monitor, or you would use some Bluetooth option like a Bluetooth speaker or your AirPods or something like that. So I didn't know that going into it and I was really disappointed that I couldn't use my HomePod for this scenario, just to be able to just play back something, but I pressed on. It was just one of the things that I noticed that was really weird. The only other problem that I really ran into was when you're using the external display uh, on iPadOS and you're using Stage Manager, the sizing of Windows I got. I knew that beforehand because I'd used Stage Manager on just the iPad screen and I understood that the apps that work really well that go between iPad app and iPhone app actually turn out to be really great uh, Stage Manager apps because they can really resize and be dynamic. But when you're really pushing the edge and you just don't want to exactly go full screen with an app, but you want it to take up a majority of the screen, similar to how you would resize a Mac app, uh, or even just kind of go almost full screen on a Windows app. The iPad just gets really confused and the, the cursor becomes really uh, confused about what you're trying to do. That was probably the only other issue. So it just begs the question, after all of this, is an iPad Pro ready to replace your work computer for your nine to five job? And overall summary is it can do a lot of the work, right? It's just, it's not ideal to replace your nine to five work computer, uh, whether that be a Mac or even a Windows computer. It's getting closer 
and it can do a lot of the tasks. Like I could just punch away a bunch of emails inside of that, make phone calls using that. And I, I actually like using AirPods to be able to take those phone calls, it's just a pleasant experience, but it's not fully there yet. And there's a lot of things that, uh, as an iPad user, I've come to grow and accustomed to, especially things like file management, how you work things and move things across the system into different apps, all of those different caveats of using an iPad as your main computer. So for a lot of people, iPad Pro is not fully ready, even with external display support, it is not fully ready for replacing your nine to five computer, but it can be a really great tool alongside that. And that's one of the things that I wanna explore on this channel too, is what is it that an iPad could bring to the table as a business professional? Can it really help you with enhancing your work and adding more efficiency to your work? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can be notified and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I release videos. Cause I would love to continue to explore what iPad can really do for business professionals as well as creatives. Again, don't forget to like this video if you liked it. And if you didn't, there's always the other button. And I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.